thumbs up above us. What? Pretty little Central Park. What? 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 It's, I'll just let you know now, it's one of the two things on the tour that you do have to pay for. Not included in the tour, but it's only $6. But I think it's well worth it. Sure. Are there people that just don't do it? Is that why you have that set up um, that way? Fire here once, didn't they? Yeah. Huh? Sorry? It's hard not to. Yeah. It's hard to stop yourself from actually purposely yeah. rocking. We can go there. Yeah, we're yeah. yeah. They'll build up behind us. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. Oh, look at the dead one down there. Sorry? Let's, see, let's look at the big dead yeah. tree there. Okay, guys, I'm stopping for a second. Yeah. yeah. You know, totally ignore the law rules. Then the Altoro poo poo hits the fan, they're the first to bitch. Yeah, that's right. God, don't they read? That's right, this is the great thing. Without any effort, you can go up 45 meters and you're up in the canopy, which is a view, you just never get it. That's true. Yeah. That's the one that I Michael, Michael, stop here. Hmm? You can't get a picture that would do it justice. No. Like at all. Honestly. I mean, you can take a picture of that, it's just a mess of trees. You could yeah, be anywhere you really want. Exactly. Really fall, yeah. You go down, yeah? No.
Yeah. Problem is, we're sitting in the center of two. Uh, the platforms are a bit. You can have 20 people on a platform. You can go by me if you want to. I'm just going to yeah. pan. I thought I did in England, I just kept buying postcards. Never sent them to anyone, just bought no, postcards. Really nice you can see some evidence of fire <laughs> even at the top yeah, of these I know what you mean, though. trees. Otherwise, you just sort of. Yeah, there's, there's, there's like nothing. There's no backside. When you look at some of those limbs that are dead, they mm. may have been tree fired, uh, the one behind me is. Um, you can see the trees were much taller. That's my, yeah, that's the thing, it's much um, taller, yeah. yeah. It's interesting. <laughs> Hard to imagine there shouldn't be monkeys flying around <laughs> in here. Yeah, that's the thing, yeah, we've got, we have no primates in Australia. Yeah, well, well don't go quite that far. Well. You have only one. No, none that are, none that are native, are. none that are native to the... Um, Don't know if I can see the movement in the video. I can see it right there, a little bit of what's happening. I have much greater appreciation for Tarzan when you realize how high up he could have been swinging around on just a vine. This one here is the cowrie, and here you can see the buttressed uh, form of the tree. Here we have a close-up view of one. You can see the burns scarring on the outside of this tree. Outstanding. More fire evidence. So this is actually the cowrie because of the smoother bark and the bark is flaking off like a larch in the United States. Thank God there are places like this protected. So these hollowed out centers are caused by fire, yep, time, fungal, fire, fung, fungus and insects. insect attacks. Huh. And so the fire just roars up through yeah. there. I'll be danged. So does it have a top on it that it goes out of? Well, yeah. Basically. It must. Yeah. It's out somewhere. Huh. This thing that uh, the Harrison Ford character owes money to. Oh, <laughs> I don't know. That's him. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. Yep. Oh, and you can see it. Yeah. Here, of course, is some example of some severe fire burn. You can only imagine what happened to this tree, the rest of it, and when it occurred, or how many times the fires occurred. This one, you notice, broke off up here. Yeah, early, early in the morning or something. This is actually one of four fire trees. In other words, a tree where a ranger type would climb up this rebar and uh, get up to the top. Halfway up, you'll see right there, there's a cage. And then it goes further on up, which I'll back up a little bit later and you can take a look at. But what you notice it is, is it's like one inch rebar hammered into there somehow, which is in itself a pretty good task. And then the airline cable holding a mesh 
um, in turn attached to a secondary line that makes this um, spiral staircase uh, up the tree. Okay, you can see how it wraps around the tree. I suppose the way you get down is to climb down like a ladder backwards. There's the underside of the on top. Okay, we're at Diamond Tree right here. That's another tree that could be climbed, and those red ones are apparently other trees. It was created by hammering in wooden pegs. Uh, well, actually, the, the, the tree was selected by the forester who went up them with what this uh, similar package of uh, equipment like telephone operators use, kind of like the rope that goes around the tree and then the uh, special uh, leg irons. And then they would <coughs> drill holes in the tree and put in wood pegs that he could climb. And uh, that was the first stage. Then they'd, they were quite well spaced apart. Then they'd come back in and hammer in these big uh, rebar spikes. And at one time when the guy was working up 150 feet, a branch came down and knocked off all the wooden pegs, but he lowered himself on a third, on a thin um, piece of line, much to the amazement it says. There he is. 